Yo everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play, Let's Play Fur Fighters Vigo's Revenge. Just jump straight into the game, or the loading screen, and then the menu screen, and the memory card screen, or whatever. But yeah, this is Fur Fighters, or the menu for, I should say. We'll just jump to straight into single player, start new game, and get rid of the override. That was just some test. And one thing I like about Fur Fighters is you play as six different characters and they're all different animals and each from a different place. So you've got Bungalow from Australia, he's a kangaroo, Juliet, cat from France, Rufus, dog from Scotland, Chang um, from China, Rico from Argentina, the penguin, and Tweak the dragon from Wales. So of course I'm going to go as Tweak. Of course you switch between characters all the time, but you know. Gotta represent Wales. I'm so glad it's happy. Yay. We exist. Cutscene. Fur Fighter Village. It may not look much, but it's home to the greatest warriors in animal history. Nice introduction here. Chang. Small in stature, but great in the fields of both technology and martial arts. Juliet. Chic and graceful on the outside, but within lays the heart of a ferocious warrior. The mighty Gwyneth. A fierce dragon and mother of a new generation of fiery airborne defenders. And from Wales. Bungalow the kangaroo. A few shrimp short of a barbie, but an athletic and ferocious fighter nonetheless. Rico, the smooth-talking joker and master of the water. And last, but by no means least, Rufus, the wise old warrior and leader of the fur fighters. How I loathe them all. Oh, snap. Seems like this kitty has some problems with the fur fighters. Rufus gets woken by some adorable little babies. Oh, look how cute they are. And it's funny how they used to be the only ones that noticed the impending doom. Yep, that definitely looks like impending doom. So, Rufus does what Rufus does best and goes find a gun. I don't know if that's what he does best, but you know. They all get knocked out. There's the helicopters. Drop sleeping gas or knockout gas of some kind. Rufus, let's give us the best lip sync Can ever. You hear me, my old friend. I've returned as I vowed I would, and soon the world will be mine. <laughs> but you shan't be interfering with my plans like last time. I'm not going to kill you. Where would the pleasure be in that? No. I want you to witness my triumph and suffer as you're forced to stand helplessly by. Rufus! Rufus! Vigo! It was General Vigo! No kidding! He left note! Greetings, fur fighters. As you have discovered by now, I, General Vigo, prospective ruler of the globe, merciless leader of the blah blah blah, destroyer of cities, blah blah, have abducted your families. Make no attempt to interfere with my plans, or the consequences for them will be dire. I mean it this time. Yours, etc. General Vigo. Well, to hell with that. We are going to find our families and we're going to teach that damn cat not to mess with us. Chang, is the teleport device ready? Looking, but can only teleport one of us at a time. Rico, fancy helping to turn the tide in this fight? Ladies are in peril. It's our sworn duty. Juliet, are you with us, lass? For now, Doug. For now. Bungalow, any idea what's going on at all? Not really, mate. Good to have you on board. And you, young Tweak, your mother's gone too. So you're the only dragon left. You may be only a day old, but you think you've got enough fur fighter blood in you to help us? Tweak! Good lad. Looks like we're all agreed. And hope we'd never be here again. Except for but Tweak. You don't always get what you want, do you? Lock and load, my friends. It's time we put Kitty out for the night. 
I just love that opening cutscene. It's so cheesy. It's the right kind of cheesy, though. It's, like, good cheesy. Yeah. And here we go. Hello, Tweak. Hello. Welcome to Fur Fighter Village. I am General Bristol, your mental and spiritual advisor. I'll be helping you on your quest to recover the Fur Fighter families and defeat the evil General Vigo. From here, you can travel all over the world. But before you embark on your adventure, visit the Undermill, our very own training facility. Look out for useful items as you explore. For instance, this subway token will allow you to catch the subway train to New Quack City. It's a long walk without a token. Okay, so I'm actually in the game, and the first thing you can do in this game is shoot that rabbit. Um, yeah, this is Fur Fighters. An amazing little game. I say little, it's pretty big actually. Uh, but the premise is, you know, Vigo's come, kidnapped all your uh, babies, or in Tweak's case, siblings, and you have to go and get them back. Um, I'm going to go for a full baby one. Um, something I've never done before, and should be interesting. Uh, Don't waste your time. <laughs> I'm already dead. There are better outlets for all that aggression than me, you know. You cannot hurt what is already dead. I love the little, like, things they add. And you can also explore, um, the Fair Fighter Village. There's not much to do here yet, uh, but as you save babies and defeat bosses and stuff, things change here. And you can, um, yeah, explore and do lots of cool stuff. I'll, I'll get into it a bit later when things change. Um, there's also something else I want to talk about. Oh yeah, uh, the voice acting, lip syncing. Uh, this was originally a Dreamcast game. Uh, on the Dreamcast, there was no voice acting whatsoever. Hence the poor lip syncing, because they just this is the had it generically you done. Get in shape and learn about your special skills here. So this is a completely optional thing in the PS2 version, because uh, originally you didn't get the subway token until after you completed this mission. Uh, but I suppose they made it so then you don't have to finish it in the PS2 one because, you know, people who've played the game don't really want to do this over and over again, I suppose. But I'm going to do it. It's a nice introduction to all the characters and to basic mechanics to the game. Hello, little dragon. Here for your maiden flight, eh? How about a run round the Undermill with the grown-up fur fighters? Report back to me when you've stretched those wings. Tweet! Well put, young fur fighter. Also, if you haven't noticed, uh, Tweak's only a day old, and all he can say is Tweak. He has already learned his name, and he's a day old. He's a genius, I tell you. The evil General Vigo has taken your babies and hidden them all over the world. We must act quickly if we are to recover them all. To rescue every member of every family will require the combined skills of all six fur fighters. The fur fighter teleportation device is a great invention that allows you to instantly travel the world. However, its power is limited, so only one of you can be out there at any one time. Take time to yeah. leave the search using your different skills, whilst the rest of you stay behind to operate the teleportation device. These are telepoints, part of our teleportation technology. Don't worry, only fur fighters can use this device, so you shouldn't expect anything untoward using our technology. You'll notice your fellow fur fighter comrades' faces peering out of the telepoints. When you need to swap places with another fur fighter to use their particular skills, or to allow them to rescue their own baby, you can use these telepoints. Remember, you have raised your children well, so they will only agree to be rescued by their own parents. Dive into the telepoint to call up and change to another fur fighter. When inside the device, an injured fur fighter will recuperate, but only slowly. So yeah, um, he did a good job of explaining things, hence why I'm doing the tutorial. Let's see what he has to say about the babies. I managed to shelter these six little tykes from General Vigo's bears. They want to help Tweak's freaking ready. out. 
Each baby will only allow their own parent to rescue them, so you will have to learn what each species of baby looks like. When you find one of your teammate's children, go and get them so they can rescue the baby. Yeah, the uh, mechanic of this game, only the parent or sibling will rescue the babies. You can see all these, they're like shaking their head and so... Yeah, the dragon is all like, yay! So we've rescued Squeak. And Tweak's like, bye! So, let's switch between characters. There's Rico, grab his baby. Lucia? I'm gonna be so bad trying to pronounce some of these names. Oh, damn it. Change to Rufus and rescue Angela. Dead. You also may notice that the each fur fighter has a different array of uh, instruments that typically play, especially when you finish rescuing a baby or whatever. Which is kind of cool. It just gives them each slightly bit more personality and whatnot. Or stereotype this. One of those two. Let's rescue this chap, Danny. Bongo looks so confused. Bungalow. Why does it say bungalow? Ah, no. And one gripe with this game that many people have is the controls. And admittedly, they aren't the best. But that's like, it kind of makes sense given the Dreamcast controller and what they were trying to do at the time. Uh, they didn't have two analog sticks with the Dreamcast controller, they only had the one. So, to make this game the way they wanted to, they had to compromise with the controller and it ended up a bit weird. Basically, it didn't really age too well. So, now let's get him to the explain these. The teleports is that they tend to leak. It's not serious, but the green teleportation slime crystallizes into these gold tokens. Collecting these will soothe your wounds and allow the teleporter to work in more distant locations. Try collecting some gold tokens. Basically, the, you need a certain amount of gold tokens to unlock uh, some of the levels. Um, if you get all 100 in a level, you unlock the time trial mode for that level, and there's also other goodies. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say it right now, I'm not going to try and get all the, um, all the crystals, because that's just really tedious. Ah, Chang. Before moving on, a word about health. Stand to attention. Sergeant Sternhauser? Yes, General. Oh, thank you, Sergeant. If you that's sustain injuries me. during your mission, look for these tins of food. Eight out of every ten fur fighters prefer these nourishing pet yums. For now, continue your training. So yeah, pet yums, yours. Bastard. Hit me. My physical condition is too primed for that to be effective. Your efforts are wasted on someone as physically perfect as me. My physical condition is too primed for that to be effective. But as you can see, we've got six out of six babies here. We could end the level here, but I'm going to continue it just to get used to the controls again. And once again, these guys do a decent job of explaining the mechanics to the game to you, uh, for you even, or whatever. That makes sense. Um, and it teaches you about each fur fighter's abilities as well. Attention, fur fighter. I am Sergeant Sternhauser, your physical fitness advisor. Release your aggression on these harmless flower bags to practice your targeting skills. Your pistol and other weapons you find will work at long range, but your personal attack will only be effective up close. When you feel ready, move on to the next room. Move on when you're ready. So yeah, shoot things. Uh, each character has a uh, melee attack as well. There's also a shotgun behind there. I think to get the shotgun, you need to... Uh, 
Uh, you just need to shoot all the flower. Hopefully. Because I don't want that shotgun. Yep. Here we go. Shotgun! Oh yeah. Another reason you would do this is just to get some extra ammo and weapons. Well, shotgun. A bit earlier than you would normally. So, let's see. Rufus. No, let's see what he has to say when I'm not Rufus. Have you seen Rufus the Hound? Nah, he just basically tells us to get Rufus. Ha! <laughs> ah. So let's get Rufus and see what he has to say now. Still skilled at borrowing Rufus? When you find one of these mounds, stand over it, press jump, and you'll tunnel through to somewhere else. Oh, well. I knew I'd get my hands dirty before the day was out. Yeah, so Rufus, his ability is he can dig. Which, as you can see, is effective from getting between places that allow you to dig between them. Uh, pretty... It's a very... Uh, what's, circumstantial ability. Pretty handy though. Not too bad, not too... Meh. I don't know. Seen bungalows, a kangaroo. Right, now we see bungalows ability, which is arguably one of the better ones. About time you got here, you wallaby. Did you know you can jump more than twice as high as the other fur fighters? Really, mate? Why is that then? Because you're a kangaroo, you idiot. Try practicing your jumps on those crates over there. So yeah, bungalow can jump twice as high. Uh, the nice thing about this ability is it's constant. Like, it helps even if you're in areas where uh, you just need to do platforming to start with. Like, you don't need to be... It's not like Bungalow's ability, which is specific to... This is a Bungalow puzzle area. Uh, Bungalow. Rufus puzzle area. Bungalow's puzzles. Uh, Bungalow's ability works everywhere. Which is nice. And again, some more shotgun shells, which is also nice. But, anyways, let's continue onwards. What's that down there? Huh. Okay. I like seeing what they each have to say about things when you Did go up to you know them. You can climb ladders by walking against them. Oh, which reminds me, if you see Juliet the cat, send her to me. So yeah, let's uh, teleport to as in as Juliet. Whatever, probably the blah 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 blah. Hello, my agile French feline. Remember, you can all scale great heights when faced with ladders, but you can climb other obstacles. Just walk into them, and your claws will do the rest. Find a surface like that one there that's all covered in scratches. You can climb straight up and down, as well as strafe sideways. Let go by jumping backwards. So, where I go, the others cannot follow. Très bien. Once again, her ability, like Rufus, is very specific to areas where these are. So, useful, yeah, but at the same time, it's kind of handy to have, like, Bungalow's ability is constant, if you know what I mean. No, he just doesn't want to talk. Bastard. Only a Firefox could get through. Only a Firefox could get through that vent down there. Okay, so only a Firefox can get through that vent. We can't make that jump. However, if we switch to Tweak and head up, talk to Sir Dead Dude. Tweak, let's test those little dragon wings, shall we? Practice flying between the vents in the side of this grain silo. To take off, tap jump. To glide, press and hold jump while you're still airborne. Tweak! You're quite right, young chap. Your wings are too little to let you gain altitude, but you can still glide quite far if you launch yourself from a height. So yeah, Tweak is able to glide, which is actually a decent one all the time. Like, we can make use of gliding uh, a lot of the time, as opposed to the other ones. Now we have Chang. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Yeah. You see, tweak the dragonette yeah. anywhere? Only a Firefox could get through that vent down there. 
Okay. Ah, there we go. Hey, down there. The only way to get further into the undermill is through that little vent. In narrow spaces, to be sure, is advantageous. Go then. I'll see you on the other side of that vent. I don't know how he's gonna get out to. Never mind. But yeah, Chang's ability is he's well smaller, and because he's smaller, he can fit through small holes. Um, also, I believe there's a mechanic where he's just got a smaller hitbox as well, which is kind of cool. Like. I'm not sure, entirely sure if that's true, but I remember reading it somewhere, so I I want to believe it's true. <laughs> that being Chan makes you harder to be hit. Which, once again, is a very passive one. Being so small allows you access to narrow tunnels and pipes. You saying something about Chang's height? Where the mighty elephant may not pass, the brave mouse may enter. I'm not sure if that a compliment or not. Look, you can explore narrow tunnels and pipes. Okay, now off you go. <laughs> I love the writing in this game. It's very... It's very silly. I like silly humour. So you head through. Are you ready to practice your diving, Chang? Chang's fur smell funny when he get wet. Try Rico. Ah, yes, I forgot. Rico's the only one of you who can dive down and swim underwater. You had better find him. Yep, and that's hinting at the next fair fighter ability. So, as you can see, we can um, swim on the top of the surface, but we can't shoot or do anything else, so we climb out and switch to Rico. So let's just see what he has to say. Ah, young Rico. As the only fur fighter able to swim underwater, you will have to deal with the deep stuff. The others can only swim on the surface. When you're in the water, press jump to dive. Uh, you'll be too busy swimming to be able to use a weapon, though. Yeah, boss. Whatever. It's cool. You're sure you understand? None of you can shoot or fight when in or under the water. Rico, are you listening to me? Huh? Yeah. Everywhere. The weapons don't swim when you're fighting underwater. Gotcha. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. But yeah, uh, as he said, weapons don't work underwater. However, um, there's no air or breath meter in this game, so I'm okay with not having weapons work. <laughs> it's a compromise I'm willing to make. Congratulations, fur fighter. Your first trial is complete. You're ready to embark on this perilous adventure. Return to the village and catch the subway to Vigo Industries headquarters in New Quack City. If you need more gold tokens to help you to the next level, there are plenty lying around the undermill and the village. Good luck, fur fighter. I will reappear during your adventure to help you where I can. And I will be checking on your physical fitness. So be off. And let the adventure begin! No! Oh, adventure! Yay! But yeah, that's essentially the summary of all the abilities, uh, all the powers, all the cool stuff, and the objective of the game. Basically, go find our babies. So, our first set area to tackle. Oh, here we go. Just a little summary of the level. Six out of six babies. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, the summary of the game. Find the babies, save the babies, kill the bad guys. So our first area, uh, first place we're going to tackle is New Quack City. Also, uh, if you re revisit a level or an area, you notice that some tokens were this color. Uh, discolored silver, I guess. Basically means we've already collected them. They won't. Uh, we won't get the progression of. We won't get any more for collecting it, but we still get the health for picking up the silver ones. But yeah, here's the subway to New Quack City, and we'll tackle that in the next episode. Whoa! I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Uh, bye.